Hello everybody. What we have today is a 2005 Hunt Uplander, Chevy Uplander, uh, that has developed a problem. And oil is getting into the coolant. If you can see down in there, it's nice and oily looking. So that is going to be more than likely the intake manifold gaskets are leaking. This is a 3.5 liter Chevy engine. Generally speaking, it's a good engine, but it is known to have a problem with uh, the intake manifold gaskets being plastic molded rubber O-rings, basically. Uh, as you can see, this car is actually in pretty decent shape, um, but it has no value. It's over 15 years old. Um, almost 15 years old and um, just doesn't have any value. It's got over 210,000 miles on it. Still drives, shifts perfectly. Engine's good and strong. Um, front end makes some noise but hey I can live with that. But um, I don't want to have it fixed and pay more than a thousand dollars because it's going to be an eight hour job if, if uh, you hire somebody or, or if you do it yourself. Uh, you still have to buy the parts, which is going to be more than what I'm going to attempt here. I bought a gallon of antifreeze, and I bought Bars Leak Block Seal. I have used Bars Leak's products many times. Not this particular product, but their regular heavy-duty um, sealants. For radiator leaks and also heater core leaks and it has worked 100% of the time and I've left it in there for multiple years and it never leaked and it never caused an overheating problem or anything so I'm sold on the bars leaks product the plan here today is I'm going to drain as much water out of it as I can then I'm going to fill it with just tap water run the engine Drain it again, run the engine, refill it, run it again, drain it again, get as much of the oil out as I can. Then, according to the instructions on the bars leak, I'm going to put the entire bottle, after thoroughly shaking it, I'm going to put the full gallon of antifreeze in the system, and then I'm going to top it off with water. And uh, then I'm going to run the engine for 15 minutes with the heater on high and the fan on high. And that should do it, hopefully. And then I'll keep an eye on it and report back later. Let me get this job done and I'll return.